I ate dinner. I even ate my dessert. No, I mean, it was a cookie I pulled out of the freezer, but that's not the point. The point is, I even ate dessert before we went live today. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Wild Blower Wills YouTube channel. It's knit night. It's Friday night. Jocelyn and I are here. And it's knit night. So we have no schedule plans or anything to talk about. Just grab your knitting, get comfy, and we're going to chat. Knit and chat. Heaven knit knows chat. that's not going to be hard for us. <laughs> no, we never have a hard time with that. Let me see. Oh, I've got comments. So excited. Hello, Liz. Happy Friday. It is a Friday. Yay. It's the weekend. Next it weekend is. is a long weekend. That's even mm. more exciting. Weirdly, my long weekends are quiet. I don't know why everybody gets so stoked about long weekends. I never have anything to do on a long weekend. Ever. Well, yep. Well, I'm looking forward to long weekend because but I am. The other time. Hello, Asa. Hi, Nikki. Cindy. Oh, Asa stayed up late. She or is up late on a Friday night. You must not well, have to work tomorrow. She's on vacation. Oh, well then, yeah. So every night is a stay up late night. Sleep in. Potentially. Pajama day. Knitting day. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So Asa, why don't you tell, or Jocelyn, tell us about your cardigan. Asa says, nice cardigan. Asa will probably recognize the cardigan. It's the my uh first crochet um uh, cardigan that I designed. So it's yeah. my first design for it. It has on purpose holes. <laughs> on purpose holes. You mean lace? <laughs> lace. I mean lace. On purpose <laughs> holes. Lace. Yeah, I was wear I'm wearing it around the house to see how I like it in the different areas to wear it in. I still haven't woven in my ends. Like they're still just shown out there. So can't take okay. finished photos yet. But that's okay. Uh Erin also put it on today and she very much likes it. She's like, oh, well, I'm gonna have to crochet me one of these. So I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so what did you what weight of yarn is it? It's a worsted weight yarn, uh, but it looks extra fluffy because it's on a very large hook. For a worsted yeah. weight yarn, okay. so that you get a lot of nice, nice drape and stuff. That's but amazing. I don't, I can't wear like a solid worsted. It gets too hot. I melt to death. Yeah, but the late the planned holes, the lace seems to be doing well at regulating and letting just enough air out that I don't okay. feel like melting into a puddle of goo. Well, that's encouraging because i have been known to stand outside in the summer look at my sister and, and do the wicked witch of the west i'm melting shtick uh always brings down the house <laughs> okay so worsted weight does the pattern have a name not yet <laughs> but there is a pattern she needs finishing photos and a name so okay. uh, that i will have to decide and what yarn did you make it out of? This was at a pound of love. Ooh. It was like a less than it was a ball and less than a half of a second ball at a 48 inch bust measurement. So that's nice. Yeah. So two balls and you can get a sweater. Two balls and a sweater, yeah. For many sizes. Nice. Yeah. So I'm I'm very excited by that. But she needs a, I've been wearing it. Have I washed it yet to block it? Heck no. <laughs> needs a wash, needs a block. The ends need to be dealt with. Finishing photos and a name. That's all that's left for this bad boy. Very good. Oh, that's right. So Asa hasn't switched. They haven't done their time change yet. So that's why. Okay. They're, um, a little bit. Um, there's one hour less of a difference then, right, Asa? Yes. Yeah, because they haven't sprung forward yet. Yes, not yet. Yes, I always remember there's a couple a couple weeks difference between us and Europe. Us and them, yeah. Us and them. Us and them. Uh, Jen, Jen, hi. Oh, she finally found. Oh, finally, after more than a month, I have a Friday night off to be home. Woohoo! That's something to celebrate. Oh, I should put my phone on silent. Okay, so I have to ask Jen, how are your sock madness socks? Are you getting close to a finish or do you have a finished pair? There you go. We won't be disturbed now, guys. 
I was checking out the uh the the chart of all the finishes and seeing where the teams were. Yeah. And I had thought that there would have been more finishes, to be honest. But I didn't really look closely at the pattern. So maybe the pattern is just all the chart reading and the knitting is maybe taking people a little more time. Possible. But we'll see what Jen, if Jen is knitting this pair or not. Oh, you guys. So Carol is in the chat. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see Carol's finished sweater? Well, finished no. then from like 24 years ago. <laughs> no. But. Okay, so we were talking. Um, oh, that's okay, Elsa. Um, we were talking about Entrelac Monday night. We were. Well, you were. And I, was I said the silliest thing ever Monday night. Did you? I did. I said that I did not think I would ever do an Entrelac sweater. Because... Did you get frozen wrong? <laughs> I just... I had just always, I love, I, yeah, I don't know. Entre, yes, the Entrelac Asa. Yeah. I know. Asa says that was so good looking. I know. So I don't know. I, and I think what it is, is that somewhere along the line, I saw an Entrelac sweater that maybe was a very, I don't know, dated look or dated style or just a style <laughs> maybe that didn't appeal to me. And then I just immediately assumed that all Entrelac sweaters were going to look like that. And I just thought I would love Entrelac for a blanket, a pillow, a scarf. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I would do a sweater or not. And then Carol chimed in. And she's like, well, she had done one. I think she said it was back in 2000. She had bought a sweater kit from a craft, a craft show, a one of a kind show. So she dug it out and she re -knit the cuffs on when I think what what one night this week, Wednesday night, doesn't matter. And and she and she can wear it now. Excellent. Yeah. And it's it's amazing. So and I read she left me another message on the Facebook group saying that it had been so the kit was strands of different yarns, different colors, different weights. And was there like art yarn, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. I don't know, maybe. Anyways, and so she knit knit this whole sweater and it's long. Like it it comes down like quite long. It's like a coat, really, isn't it? At least that's what it looks like with a cardigan. And it's and it looks really amazing. So at perfect timing, she's pulled it out, fixed the cuffs that has stretched out of shape, and uh, now she's got it to wear for the like, end of winter, early spring. Absolutely. Yeah. See, my brain was like, Angelic would be fine as a garment as long as it's done okay. Yeah, and I don't know what I what I saw. I don't know. I'm, I I don't mean, I don't know. But anyways, it's gonna be like anything else, right? There'll be versions where you're like, nope, not for me. Yeah, but that just is a good reminder for me that yeah, you just can't lump everything like everything that has baubles or everything that is super chunky or you know whatever the case may be it's that... talking about bobbles today i love knitting bobbles i love crocheting bobbles i do not like the look of bobbles on garments not for me see that's exactly the same kind of thing because i know and i i kind of think that too but maybe it's the placement of bobbles because we all know that well-placed bobbles across the chest may not end well right like they oh, just I'm... always land in the wrong right spot. spot which is fine it's the extra three-dimensional bulk that i don't that i don't like for myself yeah, yeah. So, they do look cute on things they're just not for me they can and i think yeah bobbles and i think a lot of people a lot of knitters would agree that it depends on what they are yeah yeah it's another one of those things Anyways, I was so glad that Carol posted her picture of the sweater because now Which is good. Ooh. Now you have a reminder that Entrelac can be for yeah. other things too. It can be a sweater. Mm -hmm. I know. So we'll see. Oh, dude. Okay. You are going to have to translate all of that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I, I'm caffeine free and haven't had an amazing sleep week. Not a bad sleep, oh. but not an amazing one. 
I know. You know how it goes. I do know. I am feeling a little tired tonight, too. Hi, Diane. Hi, Sam. Jude. Okay, Jude is back in English here. Um, Carol, you're so welcome. Okay, Jude. I don't know. Jude left a couple of comments, and it wasn't in English. Were you talking? Maybe you were talking to Asa. Oh, <laughs> Asa and Jude are having a side conversation here. <laughs> okay that happens uh, <laughs> that's awesome okay well the, you ladies just chat away i'm gonna skip over the non-english comments <laughs> well i mean what um, are you gonna do with a non-english comment unless you speak yeah. the language there's not really much you can do that's what asa said she said me and jude started on our norwegian fantastic jude says mum Oh, brought Easter sweets home from Norway. She was visiting family. Oh, oh, that would be a treat. Nice. Hi, Sam. Oh, so fun. All right. So what's everybody knitting on tonight? I swear I'm awake, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. If there's, oh, I can't even poke you. I was going to say, I, no. could just, I can't even physically poke you. Can't guys. even poke me. <laughs> All right. If, Far away. If, if if Jocelyn falls asleep, well, we'll just we'll just carry on. <laughs> well, I won't be staying up late after the podcast or after the stream here tonight. I'll tell you that much. Oh. I fell asleep at seven o'clock last night. I I'm just happy I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Sometimes that's it, right? Uh, yeah. I'm working on a very shiny shawl. Oh my gosh, look at the glitter on that baby. Oh my And it's goodness. not even showing up as well as it does in person. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. What is it's yarn? Aggressively shiny. <laughs> what yarn is that? Um, Diana and I uh recorded for bonus content to go out, I think, next month. Um, uh, a review of soft and shiny from uh Karen. Oh okay. hooks and threads. Um because we've been looking at budget yarns and stuff. So we yeah. wanted to try yarns that were new to us. And neither of us had worked in soft and shiny. So okay. that's, that's what we good. got. Okay. I have not. I don't even think I've seen that. So it came from Michaels? Yeah. Because Loops Michaels. and Threads is the Michaels brand, Loops right? Loops and Threads is Michaels, yeah. So mm -hmm. I've been, I worked on a, a large crochet swatch. Like I started a crochet project and I started yeah. an editing project. And Diana did the same. She had swatches and stuff so we could talk about it. Yeah. So we did that part. But I want to finish the project I started <laughs> in this yard. So well, on that tonight. <laughs> good. Uh, I, yeah, I've not seen that. You guys, I feel like I am going through a bit of a Michael's withdrawal. Um. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been like hugely a long time, but I ha I have not is been there. Possible? I it is it's odd. It's strange for me. I I like I don't know. Like maybe don't laugh. You gotta promise you won't laugh. Okay. Three weeks. Okay. <laughs> um, I know it feels like forever because sometimes I go in multiple times a week because you know you might need something or you need to walk around to get your steps. That is a real thing. And okay, that I'm laughing at you for. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's real. It's real. I do. I walk up and down every aisle looking quickly as I walk. Um, Don't really get my heart rate up, but you know, I get steps in. But anyways, I have not done that for the last few weeks. I haven't been to a Michael's in person in years. Oh my gosh. I... I I couldn't even imagine that. Yeah. I'm like three weeks and it feels like a lifetime. Maybe it's actually been more. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, what did I see? I saw Asa says, is she sending you treats? Yes. Yes. Oh, yep. Marzipan soon to be on its way to Jocelyn. Ooh. I love Marzipan. Oh, Cindy is finally putting toes in her socks. They've been sitting in the knitting bag for quite a while. Oh, good. Excellent. That sounds like a good project. That's an excellent now, project. Is is it like winter for most everybody that's on here tonight? It has been snowing the last few days here. You know, just when the calendar officially says it's spring, Mother Nature decides it's going to be cold and snowy, like stormy snowy. So. I don't know why everyone gets 
We do this every I year. Know. I know. February, you get one or two warm days, maybe half a week. Everybody loses their snot. Spring's here early. It's going to be amazing. The snow is done. I'm like, it's not done. It's, it's, it is never done with us before we get into April. But, Sometimes yeah. it's not done with us till May long weekend. And that's normal. Yeah. See, when we don't get that, it ha it has it's been super cold may long weekend it may be the like a handful of times we've had a little bit of snow but really never that late for us if you tell someone who lives and... in manitoba that you put plants in the ground outside before may long we will laugh at you yeah we don't even do that here no. <laughs> well i mean you what can now? but you're taking a risk you're taking a heck of a risk why yeah. would, would you do that uh, I don't it's, know. It's just not. A, it's not a, like I'm just like really. When you look at your weather apps, some days it's cooler, some days it's warmer. But it's not like it's massively cooler or massively warmer than the norms for this time of year. We just have that regular fluctuation of stuff, yeah. and I'm always like, why, why, why? We talk about it like it's some sort of perfect thing, and the moment spring hits, everybody hates it because there's puddles and it's muddy and it's gross, and then you it's summer and it's hot. It. And summer it's hot, it's muggy, and it rained on the weekend. I'm just like, just let yeah. it go, guys. Just let yeah, it go. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I uh, yeah. Anyways, it's a good weekend. To, it's a good weekend to knit is what i was getting at if it's it is a good weekend to knit. and wintry yeah. then it's a perfect time to stay inside and do some knitting then i'm still this might be on my list you guys for this weekend yeah. i actually have to go to knit stitch tomorrow okay because suzanne and i and a couple of funny enough there was a there was five of us who are all knitters we went and we did a pottery class at my sister-in-law's pottery studio. Oh, that would have been fun. It was a lot of fun. And um, our pieces are ready to be picked oh, up now. Yay. So and yeah, you actually, you have to go to get your thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So look at this. Look at this. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm, I'm, I uh, had to go out that way tomorrow anyways, to see my mom for um, something else. So I thought I oh, will just, go in and uh, pick up all the pottery for all of us. And then I'm going to take it back to the yarn shop. Yeah. So the other ladies can just go there instead of driving out of town. They can just go to the yarn shop and they can pick mm -hmm. up their pottery. That makes sense. It does. So I'm yeah. thinking maybe I might see about, <laughs> I mean, okay. I just like, this is like a toy. This table is a little stiff and it's kind of gets in the way. And what you yeah. doing? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any of those very short circular needles? Like little, like little nine inch ones for yeah. some? Yes, I do. I tend to just use that. Now, it does mean that I have to put the yarn back on to the needle to knit it off of. Uh huh. But I find the little nine inch flex cable just folds yeah. right out of the way so nicely. Yeah, and yarn yeah. slides on and off it so smoothly. I've I tend to cable with that. Oh yeah, that's because actually a really good option for that. Yeah, it's long enough I can <laughs> catch I can catch the needles with my hand and keep them out of the way while I'm knitting. So like it it becomes a really it come it's like a German <laughs> short row cast on it becomes a flick of a thing on and off right. Yeah. Oh, I kind of like I like that idea because then it's your stitches aren't going to fall off, and that's a great that's a great little tip there. But if I have to put my work down, <laughs> it's safe on that needle. Sometimes I don't get a lot of warning between there's a cat and there's a cat of trouble. <laughs> also found a null binding podcast. <gasps> See, now that's something I want to learn how to do. Me too. Me too. So My gosh, maybe one of our mid-month motivations sometime. Should be us trying to learn how to do it. <laughs> we should, I think we should do that. Do you really want to encourage me to send you yet more Instagram reels about things? <laughs> Absolutely. I love them. 
I may have sent you one where it's like, this crochet stitch looks like knitting. <laughs> I know. I watched that one twice. And I, yep. at first I was like, is it knitting that she was just putting like a crocheted edge on? And I watched again. And I'm like, no, oh, she's actually it's crocheted. Straight up crochet. Yeah. And it looked almost like what, like a fisherman's rib or something. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not Tunisian. So you don't, you don't need specialty hooks for it. That, 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 that excites me. Something that's different like that. I like that. Um, Again, it was only what two stitches a slip yeah. stitch and a something 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 you usually find it as a half double slip stitch i don't know why they choose to call it that but if you google a half double crochet slip stitch it'll walk you through the step that's okay. what that stitch is yeah otherwise yeah it's that a slip stitch really yeah that was and the fact that it looked like knitting and i have a, i have a knitting pattern that i do it's just a stitch like a, just a different stitch pattern and i've had people argue with me that it is crochet and i'm yeah. like no it's knitting and they're like no 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 and i'm like um yeah it is <laughs> so uh, yeah i like ones like that i that would be a fun one to try in a <laughs> i don't know scarf sweater go big item garment of your choice could be in anything i know that that was a fun that would be that would be yeah. oh maybe are we gonna start planning our mid-month motivation uh oh i don't know if i'm ready for more scheduling i mean maybe, we could maybe not maybe not i mean maybe not every month but maybe every once in a while yeah I, i'd be willing to commit to swatches yeah, uh nothing yeah. bigger than a swatch I'm maybe, busy. <laughs> maybe, maybe it could be just, yeah, a coaster or something just to, so then we could say we tried. Yeah. And then talk about what we liked, what we didn't, if it was hard, if it was easy, if we would do it again. Yeah, I could do, I could do a swatch. I definitely do not have time to add anything more than that, though. I really don't either. But that, okay, well, we'll, we'll see about that. But we can keep that in mind. Whoop. Ooh. Oh, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Oh, so the Riptide 135 shawl is in the one of the 135 pattern setup. All right. Ooh. So that means it's that you're starting. I'm guessing, right? First well, ball yarn setup. That's exciting. It's good. All progress is progress and all progress counts. Super Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Oh, I'm way behind the comments here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I got late. Oh, I'm like way behind. You guys have been very chit chatty. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me see. Jude says, "Oh, oh, Jude sent the sent the teen on his first holiday with friends." Okay. Not had the nerve for knitting or crocheting. <laughs> yes. Well. Everything will be fine. He will have fun. You won't sleep, but it'll be okay. <laughs> it's one of those things. Oh, Susanna. Hi, Susanna. You had to work late. Well, I'm glad you're here. Absolutely. Oh, Cindy says it's a cold and bit snowy. Um, I know Liz is making fun of me. She's like, oh, my God, you haven't been to Michael's in three weeks. Her sock is going to fall. I know. I Seriously, I joke about that. If, when I like go on a Michael's band, I'm like, <sighs> Certain they see a dip in sales when I don't go there for a couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, dude, it's 15 degrees and they're fixing the roof. You can keep your snow. <laughs> um, yes, I will happily keep the snow for as long as it wishes to stay around. Yeah, you like the cool weather. So that's I why. Like the cool I, I mean, weather. I don't really mind. I like the snow. I like, I like the. Um, sense of relaxation and breathing like the the stop the breath the calm that you get from the outside weather in the winter time you just you don't get it in the spring and summer there's just so much frenetic energy yes i know also i'm telling you i know i had better go back and shop or they really will be closing i know gotta keep michael's diana business. picked out this yarn we got it for michaels because she didn't know what she wanted to do so i i shook my finger at her and i said go go to michaels and find something so she went to michaels and found something for us to review and then had to mail it to me oh <laughs> <laughs> i was like that's it lady 
<laughs> yeah. you go find a yard at Michael's and then call. <laughs> Just tell me what it is we're working in. I do have the needle for the null binding. I bought one when I was in Norway. I do not. And I, I have a book. One. I have a book that's, I think, all in Norwegian, but there was pictures, and I'm sure I can figure it out from the pictures. That's the tricky part. Like, the book and pictures, useless to me. I'm going to have to find online resources because mm. I don't see print at all anymore. Online resources is in ASA? Probably. Like if, if we're awesome. being honest, are you turn, awesome. Would you? Are you gonna try this too? But it's one of those ones. Like, I also look at some patterns, and I'm like, ah, but it's only in Norwegian. And then immediately, in the back of my voice, my brain goes, also speaks Norwegian. <laughs> you have an in there, so I have an in. It's dangerous. Same way, like when I run across a baking problem, the back of my brain goes, your sister went to school for this. <laughs> okay, I call okay. her guys. I just call also it. said because I was gonna say because like Tunisian it's a it's a kind of like a square flat hook neat hook needle because I think it has a point on it like a knitting needle but the end of it has a hole so like a big flat darning needle kind of thing and I was just thinking is it kind of like Tunisian and then Asa wrote here Jocelyn has needles for Tunisians I do. You could use that. They're up there. <laughs> I know exactly where they are. They're in the same tiny micro mug that holds my DPMs. Oh, there you go. Oh, Juice has a blanket of swatches. That's right, yeah. Josh. So we could do swatches of different techniques and okay. then take a hundred years to sew them all together. <laughs> uh, before this, I was video editing the first video for my own channel. Yeah. Yeah, and I uh, turned a crochet, turned a crochet. Let's try English again. One more time with meaning. Oh, my word. I love the look of quilts. Like, I love quilts. Yeah. yeah. I tried sewing a quilt square once, like a block for a quilt. And I got yeah. bored. And the idea of doing it on repetitive to make a pattern for a blanket just made my entire body go, let <laughs> So not for that me. happening, huh? And I have discovered over the years that I will crochet 50 billion tiny squares and then hand sew those together. That doesn't drive me to the Leno category. I just keep doing it. So what? So I've made some I've made some tutorials where I've taken quilt blocks, sewn quilt blocks, and I've made a crochet version of them. Oh, so I've got I've got some edited that I have to finish up so that I can start posting them there. Okay, so that'll be good. Uh, so I'm I'm not far off from soon having enough swatches for a okay. swatch blanket. It'll oh. just be a different idea. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, I was stuffing a chair. I have stuffing from a chair. I'm going to make some le poofs. Yeah. And some cat beds. I, uh, before Christmas, actually over Christmas, uh, my dad and my parents were down. Uh, he brought his uh, circular saw and saws all. Uh, and before Christmas, I stripped my couch. All of it came apart right down to the wood frame. And then when dad was in town at Christmas, he cut down the wood frame to make it a giant chair. So now, oh. I, and I've stuffed and upholstered said chair, but now I have all this leftover stuffing because obviously you don't need a couch's worth of stuffing for a chair. Nope. So I think next week I gotta make le poofs. Well, floor floor pillow cushion seat things, guys. Just just giant. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, so I think I need to make some of those next week. Oh, oh yes, yeah, Sam. Did you find some dish cloths you could give away? Oh, good. Yeah, I think there's something. I was just that... thinking I need to make some more dishcloths for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Nikki's talking about, okay, so there's Riptide. So there's, yes, three patterns. First uses one ball. Second pattern, three balls. Uses two. Yeah, it goes up Third incrementally, pattern right? Uses five. First is more of a lace huh? scare. Second is a smallest shape. And the third is a big shot. Nice. 
And if you're using five balls for a shawl, yeah, it's a big shawl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Susanna says it's been snowing there for a few days. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this morning, somewhere in the province of Manitoba, I suspect somewhere in the northern part of Manitoba, it was minus 38 with the wind chill this morning. Oh, I wasn't listening that closely, but my brain went, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> it's too early yet to be really that warm. We're like minus seven, I think, was today's high or something. And again, the wind is, she's a given her. So, who knows? Mm, I don't yeah. generally pay attention to the wind until it gets over 60 clicks an hour. Yeah, that, anything oh. lower than that's like a Tuesday. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Asa's telling me my now binding book was in English. Was it in English? English? Wow. Ooh, that'll be handy if it's in English. I that live on the prairies. Can. Like the only place flatter than here is Saskatchewan. <laughs> it's just it's just wind. Yes, wind. It's just wind, and that's fine. Oh, Louise is asking Jocelyn, do you have a ball band to show from the yarn? So I'm guessing, I'm thinking she's meaning your shiny stuff. Yes. Mm. Louise has to hold down the fort. The ball bands are in the living room. I will be right back. <laughs> okay. I will keep reading some comments. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So Asa says she does know a bit of Norwegian if we need help translating. Oh, Asa says, no, it's not like Tunisian. So you don't carry... You don't carry your stitches like on a lot, like on a lot of uh, live yarn, like a strand of yarn. I don't know. I can't really remember. Somehow I thought that, but, um, oh, <laughs> Asa says she thinks I got the tourist version of the, of the, uh, no binding. Well, that would probably be, make sense. I mean, we did get it at the coolest spot. It was the, um, oh my gosh, the Viking What's the boats? The Viking Viking ships. Asa, help me. What's the word I'm looking for? And it was the museum where we actually saw the real um the Viking boats. Why is why can't I think of the word? I can picture them. Um anyways, yes. And so it was a very touristy spot for sure. So probably was smart to have some some English versions there. Um, what do you mean about dishcloths? Oh, Sam, you know, everybody loves your dishcloths. Nail body is more like knots. Okay, well, then that's going to be right up my alley. <laughs> the Viking ship. Oh, yeah, just Viking ship. Well, I was thinking that there was some. Um, Trust me. What I was thinking. But anyways, yeah, the Viking ship. It was so, so cool. Learning some more of that history. Seeing the boats. And um, yeah. History is so cool. It okay. was. It was really. It was really really fun. Let's see if I can hold this up to the camera. It's it's a loops and it's a loops and threads ball band, guys. Like it's, mm -hmm. they've gone to a very sort of. I don't want to say simple because it makes it sound like it's not carefully thought out. These things are carefully thought out. They are. It's a, very, so it's, it's a clean ball band. That's the word. Yeah, that's for. probably a good word for and it. And I love that they've gone to this beautiful, clean ball band. You can tell what it is that you've got. You can find the information you need. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not they're not wasting ink on things where it does it doesn't need to be wasted on. So I do, I really I really like this. My contrast color is like a poisy poison ivory. Like this just Ooh. it glows so much on screen. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be like neon. That's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be right. so good together. It's gonna be you, aggressively loud. I'm very excited for this. What are you actually making with that again? Uh, I'm making an endless summer adventure shawl. It's, yeah, I know another one. Um, but top down because I finished I finished the asymmetrical one that I wanted. Okay. Uh, I finished that the other week. Ooh, Just look at that one. for days. Yeah. It needs a wash and block too, so like... Oh, that's gorgeous. Once it's blocked, it'll be like this big. <laughs> I love the oh, color. It's DK weight yarn on a five millimeter. So like okay. it's it's meant to like the fingering... No, DK weight on a six millimeter. The fingering weight is on a five millimeter. Like it's a loose okay. and drapey shawl. Yeah, uh, this is one of Erin uh, Fireweed Fiber Fo Fo Fiber Co. Oh my God, words today. Um, colorways. This is actually her thirty second, thirty two. This is her thirty second birthday col col colorway. Oh, I so like it. Every year for her birthday, she dyes herself a colored yarn, 
And yes, I've seen this year's coloring. Yes, I've already put in an order for a quantity of it because I like it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we went out for brunch for my birthday. So I, she's like, oh, I can show you my birthday yard because her birthday was the, the Saturday after mine. That's <laughs> like, woohoo! <laughs> Most excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vibing top down triangle shawls right now, so I need a top down triangle version. Just because. I also really needed in a black rainbow sparkle with poison ivy green contrast color on a giant triangle shawl with tassels. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Because I want one. Also, the drape on this is ridiculous. Like, it could just, it's a huge chunk of shawl. She just, she just falls. Nice. Well, so are you enjoying working with it so far? Yes, I'm enjoying working with it so far. Okay. Cindy said her daughter bought all the brights the other day when we were at Michael's. Yeah, they're so bright. I don't know what the wear's like yet. I mean, obviously the review, we talked about the fact that like, we haven't finished our project, so we can't. We can't yeah. be like this pills fast or this goes fuzzy halo and then stop. Like we don't, we just we just don't know. But, but we talked about it. our impressions on working and knitting with it. So, or crocheting with it, because we did both. And then talked about what we liked and what we didn't like for it, and we did a cost breakdown per yard and meter. Oh, oh, that's yeah. interesting. So, then uh, after we were done that, we spent a long time trying to figure out what we were going to review next. <laughs> And did you come up with something? We're thinking of cotton because Diana's got this desire to oh. uh, crochet herself a uh, long summer skirt. Oh. So I'm thinking something like uh, a cotton or a linen, something mm -hmm. where she can have it and have like a DK weight of it, but it's not yeah. going to be adding too much sort of heat into her. Okay. It's going to have that right summer drape fill because a DK wool works differently than a dk linen or a dk you know yeah other things yeah. yeah like i'm holding two fingering uh linen together to make a the spring mesh sweater uh -huh. and oh. it's it is it's behaving vastly different than a wool would at the same weight sure. so. well that and would be fun then to review as like far as the plan goes till diana buys the yarn <laughs> Then we'll see what she you are actually reviewing. See what she then, I, then I will know because I was I threw out a couple of handful of ideas and reasons why they should be a handful of ideas and she went oh I know that's good but whatever catches her eye once she's in the Michaels that's what we're doing. All right, fair enough. Just have to wait and see. So now listen to this, Liz. Liz said that come back here comment. Okay, Liz ah. said I did some knot binding in the late eighties. Early yeah. 90s. Not that hard, but tedious. Yeah. She fine. never finished the project. Okay, but I like that. Not that hard. Yeah. That's I can do that. Good. That's really good. Yes, Sam. And yeah. I had so three inch sized crochet squares together to, to a queen size blanket for my aunt once because she asked me if I would. So you can do tedious? I can do tedious. You Does it do take tedious. a while? Yes, because I have to put it down, walk away, and go do something else. But I can do tedious. Can I have a history tedious. degree. <laughs> I can do tedious. So we can not bind. That's what you're saying. We, we can, can not bind. I mean, I like. I also want to try macrame. Oh. And I want like yeah. like. There's a lot of sort of fiber adjacent crafts I want to try. Uh, English yeah. paper piecing. Um, I love oh. hand sewing. Like I'm in the process yeah. of hand sewing skirts for myself. Which is another thing I'm going to put on the other YouTube channel is when I'm making my clothes, I'm going to walk people through how I make clothes for myself because I'm moving over to a handmade wardrobe. Right. So that's so, what I was going to ask you. So what is the name of your own personal YouTube channel? It's my name. Okay. <laughs> it's just Jocelyn Douglas because right. it's going to be me. It's it's going to be it's me crafting. It's me figuring out things and, and putting things together in a different way because that's what I do it's me going blind so like there's going to be some examples of okay you know uh we have I haven't figured out how to film it yet but I want to film and I, I might honestly have to wait till like Diana or Aaron's free to be like the second mm -hmm. camera 
yeah. and like film the same things, but I want to fuzz out half the screen. So like, I want to give you guys like what the computer sees and probably what you see. And right. then I want to give you what I'm seeing and how I'm identifying yeah. the world. Yeah. That Cause it's, be- I know it's things people keep like, Oh, you should do that. I'm like, and I know I should do that. I just need to do it. Well, yeah. Well, when, when, yep. One Whenever step at a time. Exactly. If I end up moving this summer, I'll probably vlog that. Wow. It's always a debate you have every time your lease renews for your rent. You're like, do I like this space? Is this still the right space? Yeah. This is my first apartment in the city for a while. But this is the first time I'm not in the house for a while. So I'm just like, does it have the right vibe? Is it big enough? Is it too big? Should I be downscaling some more? Like, am I finding this too much to care for on myself? Like, you know, questions. All the Do I really love the cloth foot bathtub enough to stay? <laughs> Maybe. I really do like the cloth foot bathtub. So, like, there's, it's the same question I have every year. As you should. Yep, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Make sure the space works for you. Maybe not binding will be the thing that I just finish everything. Maybe I love it so much that I just do it nonstop. You never know. I think you'll get into a finishing mode. (laughs) Thought the madness is done. That usually is your your clog in the pipe moment. Yeah. Yeah. It takes you a bit to iron it out. But you do get there. Usually around like June. Yeah. You tend to go back on track and finish a start to roll in at that point. Yeah. And you definitely, everything gets dropped for soft madness. That's that's always the clog of the pipes for you. Yeah, it Which is. Fun. Let's see. Oh, Juice says, going to be honest, undoing knots to reclaim if the project doesn't get finished doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I wonder how it is, like, like what tatting is knots, and if it, but it's not supposed to not knot, because if it knots, then you've done it wrong. So, I don't know about the knot binding, if it would be easy to undo, or... Probably not. I don't know. Probably not. I'm still going to try it, though. Because I won't know till I try. That's right, I know. Oh, Liz says she macrameed in the early 70s. I did needlepoint cross-stitch in the 80s and 90s. Now I knit, just knit. <laughs> I know. I think I remember I my mom doing macrame when I was a kid. I don't think I can do embroidery or needlepoint. Yeah, that might be tricky. And that might be too hard for me, though. I am going to give it a go on some things just because you don't mm-hmm. know. I have been slowly puttering away with cross-stitch. But uh, one of my ex-boyfriends helps me with that. He he picked up cross-stitching uh, just after he, he met his wife. Well, the woman who is now his wife. Uh-huh. And uh, he loves it. He enjoys doing it a lot. So he's been trying to help figure out how to make it approachable for me. So we spend a fair bit of time talking about it. <laughs> nice. Because then it's like, okay, I do it and I like it. Step one was to go find a place that would have cross stitch patterns that I would want to cross stitch. The samplers are pretty. I watch Needlecraft Tube. I watch cross stitchers. I watch embroiders. Yeah. Gorgeous stuff. Mr. B's mom is in the embroidery guild here in the city. Like yeah. that woman can embroider. <laughs> it is astonishing the things she can make out of stuff. Pretty amazing. My favorite is the puffer fish. Like the guild will get props, like styrofoam yes. balls yes. or shapes and things, and then they have to design a embroidery project around it. And one year they got a styrofoam ball. She made a puffer fish. Cool. Out of the star with her embroidery. So I was just like, oh, who are you? That's pretty cool. Who looks at a styrofoam ball and doesn't think planet? <laughs> exactly who thinks yeah who thinks puffer fish who thinks puffer fish i love i love the, cool. this, is this this is the same woman like i haven't been with her son like we haven't been partners in over five years like we, we have very definitively been separated for a very long time she buys me little seasonal rubber duckies 
from the Dollarama when she sees them. I remember I have, how it. I have two unicorns, a heart, a carrot, a Santa, a reindeer, a snowman, a skeleton, a witch. <laughs> Well, I can keep true. going. That's there are more duckies. I'm so delighted every time the duckies show up. He just he comes and he's like, Mom found some more ducks. And I'm like, <laughs> I get so excited about these rubber duck things. That's so fun. <laughs> but yeah, it just there's some crafts and stuff I look at and I just go, that is amazing. That's not a thing I could do in my brain. But I love that that's like, that's your, my mom's making a gnome village. Oh, really? Yeah, so she's she started, so she's got a couple of gnome houses, and they have ladders that come down from the houses, so the gnomes can get to and from work, to drop ladders and stuff. So she's got got a couple set up in the in her fake flower garden on the one side of her fence. Oh, yeah. Like she made the pots, like she had dad wood cut out the flowers. She has tin can butterflies painted, fake grass because you can't grow anything in that one spot. Oh. And now they have little gnome houses, so the gnome caretakers to take care of her little flower garden. And now she wants to build a bigger gnome village in the back corner of one in the backyard, where again yeah. it's the tree foliage is too dense for any sort of yeah. plant growth. That's so she wants to do it for plant for life and stuff. So I was. Me and Aaron stay with my parents when we go and do things like we're going to be at Bigger Saskatchewan again in June. Yeah. So we'll just stay with my mom and dad. Nice. Why would we rent a hotel room when there's there's more than enough space for us exactly. in the trailer that my parents have? And then you get to see them. And we get to see my parents. And there's a quote Aaron. She's like, it's cool. She's like, because there's stuff to do, but then like, there's also a dishwasher. Like we don't have to eat out. We can have like real food. I'm like, yeah, we can have like, yeah. real food. Yeah. Yes. We need to wash our clothes. There's a washer and dryer. Yeah. 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 She's like, but if we need to sit on the couch post show and not talk to anybody for 12 hours, that is also perfectly acceptable. I'm like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try to go up a bit early. And Erin wants to oh, help yeah. mom with her gnome village. I think they might be making a town hall in June. I love it. So it's like <laughs> a, a fairy thing. garden, but no. But no. <laughs> I like it. I like that a lot. And my brain starts going, I should just start knitting her little gnomes to put in her gnomes. You're so shrimp. I yeah. so should. I so yeah. should. Yeah. But it just, everybody has such a different creative way of doing things. So like, I didn't have macrame because that's not the kind of DIY my mom does. So that was, I painted when I was younger. My vision was a lot better when I painted. <laughs> so I like the idea of, of the texture of macrame because then I could feel right. what I'm doing with the cross stitch. Yeah. I can, yeah. I can see because obviously I love Halloween and we found a Canadian cross stitch website that mm -hmm. sells Halloween spooky vibe stuff. Well, Ooh. that's totally my vibe. That is perfect. Yeah. I have a little cartoon Grim Reaper on a white <laughs> background, and his banner at his feet says "Killing It," <laughs> which is it's a Jocelyn vibe. It's totally oh, it's not for so everybody. Fun. So it's like if I can get through that, which is just two colors, the white and the black. Yeah. Then I'm going to try Baba Yaga's hut next, which is like extra colors and different stitches. Well, want... we'll see how you make out. We'll see how I make out. So like, see, I, but I, I want to add in more guys. I'm disabled. I am home for weeks on end by myself for weeks on end where my only companion is the snoring quadruped in her cat tree. I just, <laughs> I am bored. I am bored. A lot of seniors, a lot of disabled people say it's isolating. It, it's a lonely. It is. It's a lonely existence. The crafting keeps me busy. That's great. That's, that's exactly that's why we do it, isn't it? Exactly why we do it. Yeah. yeah. Liz says she used to tat as well. Yeah. So Liz, Liz is Liz has tried pretty much everything. Yeah. Um, Diana wants that? to try tatting. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I can't. I can needle tat, shuttle tatting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not so much. I need to practice. I want to try weaving. I figure, like, how bad can I be? Not bad at all. How? No. I think I'll be fine. Oh, Cindy did macrame last summer. She did the cover the coat hangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just yeah. some fun to do, right? Also, the granny core that my living room is slowly turning into is getting intense. Ooh. And I'm not stopping. <laughs> well my dad built me a rocking chair yeah so i have <laughs> i have a, i have a rocking chair and what sits on my rocking chair 
oh, a handmade crocheted blanket, and then my handmade crocheted sweater was hanging off the one thing today, and I sit there with my friendly ergonomic branded pillow at the small of my back because I'm old <laughs> and I need the small of the back pillow now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> with my feet up on my cedar coffee table <laughs> that I painted. <laughs> I'm just like I look at the collection of my stuff and I go, oh, it's getting hobbity in here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make cushions for my kitchen chairs. That sounds like a fun project. I think that would be a fun project. I can't yeah, decide if I want to yeah. sew them or crochet them or knit them yet, so I haven't made them. But Mister B does uh, request after sitting on the kitchen chair for a while that I don't know that a cushion. Would, would, would might be nice good. with the chair he's very good, good i was like you could just say it's hard on your butt she's <laughs> like I'm, I'm, those are not words i use i'm like i know but you can say it's hard on your butt i am aware it needs a cushion <laughs> so then i was like but do Cushions i sew it do i knit it do i crochet it do i cross stitch it do i talk to your mom about maybe trying embroidery for it he's like oh man too many options i'm like too many options <laughs> <laughs> i was sick with knit or crochet that would be my favorite crochet. I have oh. artwork on my wall that's my sister's flow paintings. I have art on my wall that is indigenous Inuit art from when we yeah. lived up north. I have comic paintings of a chicken called Senior Sir Cluxtington the <laughs> Third. Okay. None of my <laughs> place makes sense at all. Uh. <laughs> But yes, no, I just, uh, I always want to try new things just to try them. Like, here we go. See what they're like. That's how I ended up with a spinning wheel. It's a very dangerous. Well, oh my gosh. Yeah, let's not even start on spinning. I but, love my spinning wheel. Ooh, I don't, yeah. I don't use her very much because I'm still learning. And <laughs> I can't oh. see far enough away to do it with any sight. So it's a whole other level. It's... <laughs> Yeah, I I need to pick a dedicated weekend to just trying some other different crafts. Yeah. Oh, Sam always like do it little... as new start Mondays too. Mm, possibly, possibly. Yeah. Kiss switch that. Sam is okay. No, Sam, you're probably not doing anything wrong. You just have to make sure that the stitches aren't twisted when you knit your first stitch in the round, and it, it's just practice. Just keep trying. You'll get it figured out. The best way to learn is to make practice. Yeah. Make a whole bunch of mistakes, do it wrong the first couple times, and, and then try again. Nobody enjoys the practicing part. Yeah. <laughs> but it just kind of goes with the territory. You just you, you that's mm -hmm. the only way you learn is you just gotta do it. Yeah. Oh, Liz, yeah. she said never tried lace. I had a woman mm -hmm. um who taught her tatting or probably would never have tried it, never crocheted or or sewing machine. Oh, and sewing machines hate you. <laughs> I have three. Um, I have, I have my Victorian lady. She's a treadle sewing machine. That has a whole other world of eye hand foot coordination skill set, different God. from spinning. Yeah, I was just I gonna have... say, is there any connection to that in spinning? Nope, entirely different motion. Well, no, it's the same motion. It's an entirely different uh, speed process. Mm. But I love her. She's she's a she's a beefy lady. She ain't she's no lightweight damsel in distress. You you'll hurt your toe when you run. <laughs> she's cast iron. She's she knows what she's about. Uh, I have a industrial sewing machine that I bought when a um small I'm gonna say small it's like three story building, uh, mom and pop uh, sewing. Uh, store closed down in Winnipeg well before the pandemic my sister and I went in her car my sister was still driving at that point I had just stopped driving we were in there for like five and a half hours buying stuff oh, wow. I'm still working through the fabric that I bought from there but like I would go to buy like five or six meters which is enough for me to do a floor length dress at my size and they'd oh, wow. be like there's 14 meters on this roll we'll give it to you for the price for five or six I came home with a lot of fabric. Whoa. Yeah. And we were standing there and I'd been talking with the owner and he was like, well, we have some old industrial sewing machines. 
that he's like 50 bucks and it's yours it just needs new cords that's all it needed was just to have the electrical these are singer ones that sew five layers of denim like that's that's my my new old hot stuff and that's my serious so like my winter coats my leathers my denim that all goes to her and i have a i have a basic intro singer because it's got the dials i love me some dials <laughs> just like my everyday but what do i do nine times out of ten i sew by hand sitting in a chair with my sewing in front of me like where i put my knitting and i've got it pinned into a pillow and i'm just practicing my hand stitching that sounds fun actually but it did different relaxings for different things uh, yeah yeah some things like jersey knit he yeah that mm -hmm. goes through a sewing machine <laughs> I, am not, that, I am not isn't that, that even hard on a sewing machine Ah, uh, it's tricky because it likes to stretch in interesting directions. So you have to make sure you cut correctly and you yeah. have to make sure you pin right. And you have to make sure that your tension's good. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> However, it doesn't fray. So you don't have to finish any ends on the inside. You can just do your zigzag stitch and be done. Ah, uh, yeah. Because there's no fraying to worry about. So, you know, six of one half and the other. But I do, I want to try lace so bad. And I'm like, but everybody works on like white pillows and white cloth with white lace. Could I work on like black fabric and make white lace? Uh, yeah, something with some contrast. <laughs> <laughs> I see the shows and they're doing it, and I'm like, "Are you sure you're doing something?" <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. So good. Oh, there's so much out there to try. There is. There is. We can always just keep trying new things absolutely oh bobbin lace dude is saying went badly Ooh. oh just That'd when i tricky. thought i thought tatting had to be like the ultimate of tiny and fiddly nope and then i saw bobbin lace making and i'm like oh okay is this might gorgeous. be the ultimate gorgeous it's just so oh uh. Oh, yeah, that I would like to try so to do. But I still have like trying Estonian lace on my to-do list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try making an Estonian lace shawl, but I don't want an Estonian lace shawl. I want an Estonian lace circular skirt. Oh, really? Well, I don't wear circle shawls. They're beautiful, but I don't wear them. I wouldn't but use them. them? Mm. Yeah. But can I take an Estonian lace chart? And by me, I mean politely beg, worship, and or offer to bake goods to someone who works in Estonian lace techniques. Yes. To do it where your starting circle is the circumference I need to slip on and off with the increase pattern built the same way out. But my starting circular ring is much larger. And then have like just a plain stock in that section so I can fold it over to make a waistband out of it. Right. And then do literally Estonian lace charts down the rest of the skirt. Oh. I've seen people turn these knitted epic things into dresses and blankets. And I'm just like, I want to do that. I, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, then I think you should try that. It's on the list. Oh, Jude has asked about card weaving. Oh, yeah, that that's wishes. on the list. Oh, my gosh. That is so on right. the list. I have some of the cards. I brought some home from Norway because we saw a lady doing it at a museum, a different spot than where the boats were, I think that was all the same day though, but a different museum. And oh my gosh, that was amazing too. I've never have, of course, tried it, but I would like to. I did traditional Inuit beading when I lived up north. Oh yeah, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Was, that. that was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, Lynn is here. She said hi from snowy Calgary. Still... She said, yep, still winter there. Calgary, it's too early for it to be spring. Yeah. 
given but that you, some parts of the Northwest Territories never lost being on fire, I feel like more moisture in a mm -hmm. drought-ridden prairies is probably a good thing. Yes. I mean, we, that is very true. We do, we do remember we were on fire this summer, right? Like We, we do need some moisture. We I mean, need snow, that snow. Snow does have a purpose, but it does have a purpose. you can still hope for nice weather. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Asa says she has not tried the card weaving. We saw a lady doing it at the Folk Museum here in Louise mm -hmm. bought some cards to try. I did. I did. Yeah. No, it's it's on the things I keep thinking about. Karen's here. Hi, Hi Karen. Karen. Karen, how are your sock uh -oh. madness socks? Yeah, the sock madness socks. <laughs> I can't help it. It would be rude of me not to ask. I was uh -huh. gonna send you a message today and I got I got busy, Karen. So I'll just ask you here. Um, yeah, she said she she forgot we're on Fridays now. That's all right. It happens. I want to know Ooh. how Louise's whiteboard updating went, because that's what she was supposed to do Monday when we were done streaming. Yeah. I'll talk about yeah. that Monday. Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's keep it was the a comments good here for, for knitting. <laughs> I think it's a good weekend for you to get your stuff done. I know. Well, I well, I know that that is always the plan, but then stuff always seems to pop up. Isn't that just the way? Oh, it is. It is. That's why. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking for. I was going to have a salad at lunch today. Aaron brought McDonald's fries. I had those instead. Ooh, <laughs> yummy! <laughs> no regrets. It was salty, salty goodness. Sometimes you just got to. Yeah. Oh, Asa's mom had a dark blue pillow for making lace. See that I could do. Because then that dark blue would be the contrast against the white With lace. The white like, lace. I'll never yep. be as good as people who've done it since they were, like, 12. But I want to learn those skills. I also want to learn how to basket weave and make my own broom. The list well, of things is weird in my brain pan. Why not? Why not? Why can't I go find a really pretty branch in the woods and clean it up and polish it up and sand it down? I have a dad. He has all the tools. I just need to be near my dad when I do it. Because he has all the tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't Why can't I do that and then have a broom handle and make my own broom for decorative purposes? I That's say just go ahead and just do it. I want to this year because I'm rededicating this year, so it would be my new ceremonial broom. So I'm very, oh. I'm very tempted. Well, oh, Sally's here. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Karen, Karen's on her second show right now. Okay, Ooh, how many spaces are there still on your team? <gasps> I was, Mom, I was, I'm on the internet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was looking at, at the team charts. I think it was this morning or last night. I did a scroll through and um, to see. And I, I was kind of surprised that the teams hadn't filled up faster. But I saw there was a couple teams that were getting oh, close. Count how many rows of stock out you have first, because you need to change over to lace in a hot second. Oh, Asa, you might have your mom's lace bobbin somewhere, just like you have her drop spindle. They will never be used here. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, Never say never. I love my drop spindles. I have several. I oh, love I love. love. I love my drop spindles. I love yeah. Sherry bought me a Turkish drop oh. spindle. It was so Ooh, cute. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah. They could just be decorative. Like, don't even use them. Just set them out. But, oh, I love drop spinning. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Liz. Strength yeah. companion on her phone. Yeah. That could be tricky. Unless you have Diana's phone. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I sometimes go kind of cross-eyed after trying to read charts for too long. Oh, Eight geez. bumps. I have one more row to go. Uh, Diana has that flip phone where you open it up. Oh, so yeah. So it's the size of the three. phone, but it doubles yeah. screens out. God, I love Diana's phone. She I love my companion on that. It's like it's it's pretty much a mini tablet at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I she love loves her phone. Oh no, Jude said never. She said I said never and rehomed the lace bombs to somebody who has great use of them. 
Well, I mean, that's kind of good too. If they're going to go someplace where they're going to be used, that's kind of nice too. But I just hope you won't regret it, Jude. You do it. You don't <laughs> listen to Louise. If it doesn't make you happy and you're not enjoying it, don't keep it. Okay. Yeah, but you just never know. But that's okay. You could always get them again if you want them. I maintain that my mother is giving me the best gift on the planet. She is removing the clutter from her life mm. so that I don't have to when she goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That I is appreciate it. That is a thing for sure. Beyond measure. <laughs> oh, that awesome. also leads to interesting conversations like, did you know we have a rolled tube of your artwork from high school? I haven't been in high school in 20 years. Why do you still I have know. that? I know. The stuff, the stuff we keep, right? She's like, I don't know, but we're going to flatten it out, take photos, laugh, and then get rid of them. I'm like, good. That's right. Sure. Yeah. That's right. That's what you need to do with them. Yeah. Uh, oh, Asa says she doesn't need any more crafting to take her time. I spend too much time knitting. I know. That's the thing is, yeah, we only have limited craft time. And then you divide it out between all the different things you want to do. Oh, but Cindy wants to try drop spindles. Oh, you definitely it. need to. Karen oh, loves her Turkish drop spindle. Oh, oh, Turkish drop spindles are delightful. Heck fiddly to figure out, though, if you come in from a drop spindle, your brain goes, what? For a good long while. <laughs> this is oh. not sensible. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Mary says she loves learning new things. Oh, she has tried bobbin lace mm -hmm. and the... Is it inkle? Is that what it is? Inkle weaving? I N K L E. Possible. And she has done card weaving. <gasps> See, now we're talking. Mary. So we're talking. All right. So fill us in. Would you do any of it again? Was the Spill bobbin the tea? <laughs> yeah. Was the bobbin lace like as crazy complicated as it looks like you're? You're crossing bobbins and threads and here and there and it's and then you're pitting it and I don't know. I, I couldn't make like head or tails of how you were ever supposed to like, read the pattern that they were working from. Whoa. Oh, Mary says, I continue to use my drop spindle and the support spindle. Yeah. Next. I like both. I love my spinning wheel. I use them. It's a thing. <laughs> a lot? No. No, I don't. I don't always have the focus for it. Well, sometimes you just I guess you just do what you do what you love in the mm. moment. Absolutely. After work and feeding myself, whatever vision I got left goes to crafting. Asa says it's easier to just buy the yarn, not go through making it as well. I know, but it is kind of fun. It is easier just to buy the yarn. It is for sure. I will always primarily be a yarn purchaser. Oh. With the occasional sampling of spinning. I'm happy at that level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sam, I saw your questions, but I think Jude answered you or Liz or somebody about options for trying to join it. Um, yeah, you just got to practice. That's all. We've all been through that. It's the dreaded word. Yeah. And even even when you have done it, joined in the round perfectly a hundred times in a row, the next three times you try it, you're going to muck it up. It just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it how just times happens I, sometimes. How many times have I done a German twisted cast on? I still mess up at least two mm -hmm. stitches every time. Don't ask me I, don't know. I just do one of the last hats i did i had i twisted it and oh yeah happens all the time <laughs> but okay but one tip is you think you've got all your stitches lying straight at the same direction around your needle but yep. then when you pick up your needles and you pick up that yarn if you twist that last stitch by moving your working yarn around that's going to twist it right there so you just have to make sure everything is nice and straight and then knit that first stitch. So just practice. I just oh, knit around and then I connect in the round. 
if I can get away with it. You do which? Knit one round? Yeah, if I can get away with it, the pattern, I will absolutely knit around and connect it. And then I just don't twist at that point. Yeah. I, I have enough fabric to see what I'm doing. Yeah. It's easier to see your stitches. So try that same. Just don't change, don't join it. Knit one round, knit one row. Knit one row. Knit one and row. Knit around. around and then join it. Yeah. I find that helps. Not for everything, but for some yeah. things. For then socks, it doesn't to... help. But I'm doing socks to up most of the time. So. That's right. I've got my little weave it loom. I've got a lot of things, you guys. A lot of stuff. I have two glue guns. <laughs> glue guns are essentials. <laughs> I don't know why I have two of them, but I do. In case you have multiple people crafting with you and they need their own. Apparently. Oh, Lynn said, I was watching Bob and Lace making on Instagram. It was amazing. So pretty. Mm. It's so pretty. Okay, so Mary says, no more Bob and Lace, but I did like the inkle and the card weaving. Lovely. Okay. Good choices. Yeah. Mm, yeah, Nikki says, yeah, if if you notice it on the very first round, you can untwist it at the beginning of the round just before the first stitch. Yeah. Sometimes you don't notice it right after the very first round, though. So I always find it takes me, I, I don't know, it takes me a few more rounds. I never quite catch it on the first one. Ooh, I'm awake. Asa, you have, t oh, tons of beads. Oh my gosh, I have tons of beads too. They're so fun. I may I may have um, put into an Amazon cart to stare at for a while. Mm -hmm. The beads, crochet thread, beading needles, Ooh, purse fun. clasp, um, and, um, you know, your accoutrements to yeah. uh, crochet a vintage purse <laughs> <laughs> that is heavily well, beaded oh that'd be so gorgeous it will be stunning whenever i get the things to do the thing but it will uh, take me till i'm 50 that's okay she's fine because the next question you should ask is can i see the beads and the answer is no Ooh, probably not. no i cannot i think i would have a hard time seeing them But I did get um, my one ex. He's the one that uh, runs uh, a rock shop with his wife. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have asked him and he has agreed to make for me when I get, whenever I get around to getting new glasses. <laughs> to making the librarian old lady chain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're going to make it out of uh, semi-precious stones and lava rocks and stuff. So. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. I was like, if I buy the supplies for it, can you put it together for me? He's like, sure can. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I don't think I'll be able nice. to see to do it. He's like, probably not. I'm like, probably not. Which means I will buy the supplies, go to the store, sit down in the staff room, <laughs> and lay it out in the order I want on a tray, and then he'll just pick it up and beat it and together yeah. for me on the fly. That's nice. That's good. Oh, Mary. Oh, yes. Yeah. So what was I see? Liz, she said, good grief. I forgot about my beads and jewelry making. <laughs> I know we all have all the things, don't we? I've been slowly purging and downsizing. I've been discovering a lot of stuff where I'm like, wow, no. <laughs> well, good for you. If you can if actually. I've not, I've not used you in a project and I've been carting you around. For a decade, you're gonna go. I know. Not I think we all anymore. I think we all do that. We get exactly to that point where it's like been like, okay, it's been so many years. Stuff has been sitting in a box. It's not doing anybody any good. It's, it's donated good. craft supplies. It's going to, you know, it's like it's going somewhere where somebody else can use this. Well, and that's the thing, right? And you think about that about you know somebody who finds that who is like really 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 wanting to do it so it's a good thing if you you know i guess you know if you really know you're not going to do it and somebody can can use it 
Well, even if I do go back and I want to do it, I'm going to buy new things. And that's true. Yep. I'm going to buy new things. My first thought isn't going to be, man, I should go home and see what I have at home. My first <laughs> thought is going to be, that is so cute. It goes in the cart. True, true. That's how I ended up with two different types of jewel tone fake gemstones in my closet. They're getting donated this year. Jude. Jude says, I'm sitting here going la 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 la, trying to ignore you as you're talking about bees. <laughs> that would be dangerous. Yeah, I think dangerous. we all Yeah. We're we're all we're we're all in the same boat here, I have a feeling, right? I've been collecting sewing patterns for 20 years. Can you imagine how big that box is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I have some of my mother's sewing patterns from when I was a child. <laughs> really? Nice. Yeah, I have her her circle skirt uh, pattern that she has for <laughs> uh, oh, square dancing. In the in the eighties after I was born, there's a lot of photos of me when I'm quite small. Uh, yeah, and my mom and dad in their square dancing outfits. Oh my goodness, that square dancing seems so fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Mom had crinolines for days. We had different colored crinolines. Oh, uh, so doing, yeah. Amazing. It was it was so much. They really enjoyed doing it when they did it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got tons and tons of needles. That's absolutely true. It's easier to go buy more needles and finish something. Yes. Oh, oh, I saw you have a sewing machine that's hidden away. Ooh, my. Well, Sam, see if you can look it up. Absolutely. What 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 don't you understand about the pattern? I think when you have a desire to craft, you fall down many rabbit holes. I think you're right, Liz. I think you're right. Multi craftable. I think that that's a lot of us, isn't it? Omni crafter. <laughs> oh, Nikki, your son makes jewelry with beads. Nice. That'd be very pretty. Yeah, beading is beading is really really fun. It's, yeah. All right. This is the last row of stockinette. Then I've got to do some stockinette garter. There's no knitting in. Curling in this pattern. <laughs> Holy snickerdoodles. <laughs> You've done well. You've done well. We only one, have ten, 10 minutes and then we're we're one more back up to nine o'clock or eight o'clock your time. Listen, I've been working very slowly. I started crocheting squares like cotton, worsted yeah. cotton carrot yeah. cake squares. And I had the plan and I have been executing the plan. <laughs> Of once I made a huge stack of squares, I made a huge stack of squares. I yeah. was then going to crochet around each of the squares with a row of white and sew them together. Okay. I've been crocheting around and crocheting them together. Same difference. I've put together enough squares that it is a single size bed size now. Oh, wow. That's so big. Force myself to finish it. It is my comforter or my queen size bed. Which drives me mm -hmm. nuts because half of my bed has a comforter. The other half has just got the sheets. Oh. And all of the supplies sit right next to the side of my bed. It goes nightstand, garbage can, craft supplies. <laughs> <laughs> so when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to get out of bed. I only get to stay in bed if I'm going to put together a granny square and connect it to the blanket. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's a good way of getting it done then. Because I want to finish it. But oh my god, connecting granny squares is so boring. <laughs> you want me to make granny squares? I'll make them for days. You want me to connect them in the round in white? Ugh. Yeah, that doesn't sound quite as fun as the making part. But it looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, God, this is boring. And then I look down where the rest of the blanket is. And I'm like, oh, you're so lovely. Okay, let's just do a little bit more. It'll be fun. <laughs> well that's good that gives you that motivation then so listen to this mary also has a kiln 
<gasps> for pottery. Yeah, she said learning. I haven't thrown pottery in years. I love pottery. Mm. So she said she's learning how to fuse glass, but started with ceramic. Mm -hmm. Mary, you truly are mm -hmm. doing all the things. My dad had oh. a friend in um, Brandon. Wow. That yeah, she fun. was uh she made stained glass windows. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So I think there was multi lectures about walking through her workspace and my klutzy skill sets. Oh, uh, that was I'm not graceful, but oh, the stuff she made was just stunning. Oh, stunning. I'm just, I've always been like gorgeous. Yes, but also. I managed to cut myself bad enough to need stitches on a surface that had no sharp edges. Oh, okay, but well that's probably a bad idea. Like, there's some things I have vetoed. I want to go blow glass. I'm blind. Oh. That is a very sketchy idea. <laughs> you might need somebody with you. But I really, well, you can pay to take private lessons, and I would just pay to have the private lesson because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am going to be enough of a problem. We do not need additional bodies in there causing issues. <laughs> but oh man, to go blow glass because like you see those witch balls, which is like that oh. those glass balls with the straight yeah. like glass fibers on the inside. They're so pretty. I they want are. some so bad. <laughs> they're just so dark i was like well do you like this small glass thing i'm like no i want the giant expensive witch balls of course i do <laughs> to hang in my window well of course i do so Susanna, are you are you cleaning out stuff too is that what i'm getting mm -hmm. the gist here you're chatting here it is spring cleaning season it the is Equinox did just pass by a traditional way of uh, welcoming spring is to clean up and dust out all the cobwebs in preparation for the arrival It's also baby baby animal season calves baby chickens yeah. baby birds oh you know, baby bunnies asa's tried to blow glass she said it's it is warm and hard yeah yeah i think i'll melt to death still kind of want to do it <laughs> i oh mary says i would learn love to learn how to throw clay never tried stained glass but would like to try i love throwing pottery I've, again, I haven't done it since high school, but I loved it when I did it. It was so good. I liked the coiling. I liked the sculpting. I liked the throwing the pots. Like I enjoyed, I enjoyed it hands down every time I went and did any of the pottery courses I did. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Mostly because by the time I got to grade eleven, grade twelve, we were running out of things for me to take courses in when it came to art. Mm -hmm. So my art teacher suggested pottery, and yeah, I took to that like a duck to water. <laughs> I'd already I had received special permissions and I had already been attending adult drawing classes since I was 16 so at least with the pottery right. we, didn't, we didn't have to worry about live models being an issue for my age range uh, <laughs> I didn't care I didn't care mm. I didn't care then and I don't care now it's a body part whatever exactly Oh, that's right. Spring is a season of renewal, hence the eggs at Easter. Yeah. Right. Any sort of sense of <clears throat> birth renewal, starting of the spring, they're all interchangeable. All the faiths have used them at one point or the other. We all borrow mm -hmm. from each other. It's just all limited lists, <laughs> right? For the pretty much. What are you going to do? Uh, what did I learn that was weird and factually amusing today? Beavers are considered okay meat to eat during Lent. Oh, no. According to the 17th century Catholic Church. Oh. <laughs> oh. Am I okay. right that, <laughs> given how they did classifications back then? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I've never had beaver. I don't know if I'd like it or not. I've never I, had I don't want to try it. No, I just let them live their life in the river doing their thing. I so, figure okay. if I eat cow. Yeah, well, I don't eat very much meat, so. I mean, I don't now. I can't really, but I've tried uh, lots of very weird things because I lived up north. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, in some places you eat what there is and it's different. My 
brother-in-law got um cricket snacks once we tried those yeah no. oh yeah see asa's probably right she said so the beavers um they were considered to be fish yes because their uh, natural habitat was uh In the water. Marine, was water yeah. so yeah yeah until we changed our classification system they were considered a fish but somebody had to write up the chain of command in the 17th century to get it cleared to get it yeah uh, oh yeah. austin says she has tried beaver tastes okay mm -hmm. i like other meat better which is totally fair ah. i i eat all types of of meat i've tried a bunch of types of meat my favorite is deer and bison <laughs> okay well karen karen has taken the beaver talk in another direction. In another direction. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Listen, there's a rating classification system for YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the place for that discussion. <laughs> no, we don't want to get banned here. <laughs> so funny. Oh my goodness. Well. Oh, so close. I can do it. Oh, deer is really good. I've never tried bison. Bison's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Well, I got a little more of my shawl done tonight. Good. Yeah, it's growing. It's getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> Oh, Jew says kangaroo is nice. I want to try that at some point. Interesting. Um, yeah, Sam, I can show you. It's really it's super, super easy. Once you see it once, you you'll know it. Um or you can try just try looking up a YouTube video if you don't want to wait until until I see you. You're just I don't know if I can show you because I I know I'm backwards, but um and put your you've got your stitch on the needle just put your needle in through the center of the stitch and pick up the leg of the stitch that's behind you or away from you not in front pick up the back doing and an increase she just wants to knit through the back of the loop oh okay yeah it's just you're just putting the, the needle in Put it in almost like, like as if you're going to purl, but take your right needle tip to the, the back and uh, knit through the stitch. Yes, YouTube, I know. You just got to find, there'll be... There'll be plenty of options. You got to find the one that works for you. Yep, just look through a couple and see which one they show it the right way that makes sense for you and you will, you'll get it. Absolutely. Yeah. If you can illusion it, you can knit through the back loop. Exactly. It's easy peasy. As soon easy. as you see it, you'll be like, oh, I know what that is. I know, understand. Yeah. Woohoo. Daisy's telling me it's dinner time. That's totally fair. My monster shall probably be doing the same shortly. Yes. Well, you guys, this has been a lovely Friday night. And only two ready. weeks till we have sweater reveals. I know. And both of us just had two sleeves. Just two sleeves. Just two we sleeves. We have no excuse not to get. I look forward clothes. to your story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen I've seen that story list growing longer and longer as Sacramentos was going on. I've been like, oh man. Is she going to be able to catch up on her whips and yeah. get her sleeves done? Oh, no. But wait and see. Two the weeks. We'll find it. out. Two. Okay. That's what? April. Monday's the first. Fifth. April 5th. I think April 5th. First Friday of the month. <laughs> I think it's, I'm thinking it's April 5th, you guys. Oh, I know. It'll be so fun so so fun i yeah, know we'll be back oh but that's <laughs> we'll blame it all on asa asa's already got my story prepared 
Oh, good. So my story is going to be that I started nail binding and I did not do the sleeves. <laughs> It's always good to have your your stories lined up so that I got, straight and you know what you're doing. Yeah, I got my story straight, yeah. so I, yeah. I've got a good. I get a good excuse. <laughs> oh, Asa says, "Yep, yeah, April fifth. Uh, you sent her to your hat. Okay, it doesn't say how far to go with the ribbing. Okay, I don't know. Do it as long as you want. Hats are pretty. Hats are pretty flexible. Yeah, two inches is good. So All right, pretty you standard, guys. Isn't it? What's that? Two inches is pretty standard, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right, you guys. Well, this has been so fun. I'm going to, oh my goodness, my poor kitty. She's rebelling. Starving to death. I know. Feed me, feed me. She's there. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. Have a great start to your weekend. Enjoy next weekend. A long weekend. So. We'll see everyone after Easter. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>